Yo, what is going on guys? Micro here. Uh, before we get into this video, I just want to say I moved back to my old room, so there is a little bit of an echo since there's literally nothing here but my desk. But anyways, as you can tell from the title, this is my custom camo pack and my custom camo tutorial. I'm also going to have some timestamps down below if you want to learn how to install it. First thing I'm going to do is do a tutorial. So the first thing you need is very important. You have to have Photoshop. If you can find out a way to get Photoshop, search YouTube, uh, buy it if you don't already have it. You don't have to be super skilled in Photoshop, like I'm kind of mediocre and I know my way around it. I'll obviously have IW4X installed and have my custom camo pack. This is gonna be really important, you do need this. So down below, you can actually download my custom camo pack and I actually have this separated between BO2 and Ghost camos and you know, the other two, Damascus and Royalty. Um, This is kind of important because you do need the game files. Um, With this, we're not replacing a model, we're actually replacing the direct camo for the weapon. Obviously open Photoshop. As you can see, I already have weapon camo orange fall right down here. When it comes to that stuff, it is very important that you direct directly import what you want to edit. So for example, we'll take Arctic, which is grind, and we're going to drag it into Photoshop. It's important that you have the direct dimensions and resolution because it will not work. For some reason, the IW4X engine only allows that. When it comes to making camos, it's actually pretty simple. If you want a camo that's directly from a game, for example, like Black Ops 3, which is what I'm going to show you here, I, I actually happen to have the texture folder from the mod tools. So I actually do have the direct texture from the game for the camos. It makes it 50 times easier if you do have the game files and have ripped the textures. So I'm actually going to use this jungle camo right here. All I do is just drag and drop it into Photoshop. Boom. That's literally it. This is going to be for the texture that's over the weapon. If you want to get the texture for like when you're choosing your class, I'm going to show you that it's literally the exact same thing. So since this is Arctic, what you do is open my camo pack, go to be, uh, the folder and just go to Arctic weapon menu and boom, take this, drag it, drop it in. Boom, that's literally it. So in order to get like this kind of look right here, all you do is just literally right click, create a clipping mask, boom, that's it. So when it comes to saving it, it's important. It has to have the exact same name. Um, what I do is because it'll replace something in a folder, I'll just go back here, I'll create a new folder, like for example, like BO3, and then I'll enter, save as PNG, and then I'll do it for the other one too. And then that's pretty much it. That's literally how you make a camo. It's not that difficult as you would think it is. It's pretty simple. And now I'm going to get right into using the camo. So now when it comes to using them, this is very important. I included a tools in here. It makes this a lot easier. Go to where you saved your camo, uh, which is right here. So I have weapon camo arctic. Basically, all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go back right click on the tools folder, open a new window, let that drag far enough to where I can click it. Open my BO3 folder, highlight both of these, drag and drop, boom, it's done. Now that I converted these two files into IWI so I could use them in IW4X, now this is important. You gotta have your folder, you gotta go to where your folder is. Um, there's two ways of doing this. You can do user raw, uh, create a new folder, images, call it a day, like that's what you can do. And all you gotta do is drag and drop into the images folder and that's that's it. That's how you do it, it's that simple. Another way of doing it is open your main, open IW7, images, drag and drop in there. Um, the user raw way is a lot easier because you don't delete the game files. Um, I actually didn't realize I could do that and I deleted the game files. Using the camos, literally all you do is just open your IW4X. Everything will load up perfectly fine. Now you can see I loaded in. Literally, the first thing that you know is that the camo worked is that when you hover over your create a class, you can see the texture on the on the screen. But as you can see here, I have the camo. So in order to see how it looks and how it works, literally just you know, start a game. I, I like putting on hardcore mode so I can see stuff a lot better. As you can see here, this camo actually does not look that bad. Um, I kind of like this camo a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, but that's what it looks like in the intervention. And this is what it would look like on the ECR. This actually looks pretty cool. Anyways, this is the end of the tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed, please drop a like. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be a little showcase. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.